What's going on? Yeah, you can you you can still see the the video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. Mm, okay. So the uh, your sample is uh, put is placed uh, under this um under the system. So this okay. is your sample. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Uh, and also, we uh, usually will place a black tissue on the bottom of the sample. Okay. Yeah. So uh, then I'm going to uh, run this system, so you will be able to see the result. So uh, now we can uh, back to the uh, screen sharing. Yeah, I, I'm there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Usually we, we have uh, several modes, which is the uh, first one is continuous and another one is a single uh, measurement. So uh, we can click single measurement then uh, uh, so you will see the system. Oh, okay, okay. Right now uh, you can see the readout. So uh, this is the 3D readout and also you can uh, choose different display modes. Uh, for example, the texture mode. So for the texture mode, you will see the texture of the sample. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you can see, uh, you can using some other uh, measurement tool to measure the profile or measure the distance. So for example, I measure the profile of this uh, uh, surface. Yeah. So uh, you, you click this one, then you can uh, right click, uh, left click on this, on the surface of the object. Then uh, right click to end the profile. Uh, then you will see the profile on here on this uh, on the object tree. So uh, then you can click. Uh, you can define the weights of this line. So uh, the smaller weights then give you the finer uh, result. So let's say we're using uh, point uh, five. So as you can see, this nine weights is changing. Yeah. Uh, usually I maybe I using point five. So then I click the show two D profile. So uh, then you will be able to see this. Um, yeah, you are able to see this uh, profile. Oh, this, great. Okay. This is the profile. So then you can also export this profile uh, to CSV. Yeah. So then uh, you can see that this is the data. The data were this is the profile data. The profile oh. data has. Um, the X, Y, Z, and uh, some other uh, texture feature. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and also uh, the the whole the whole the the whole thing can save as um, a PLY file. So, uh, so later on, you can open with uh, your uh, SolidWorks or other software. Oh. So, so uh, also. Uh, is there a specific reason why you why you put the sample in the slanted position? Can oh, we just take a top view as well? Um, this one because the sample is uh, as you can see that uh, this edge to this edge, uh, this surface to this oh, surface is okay. really perpendicular. So in order to get the whole surface, I have to tilt the sample like this. Okay. Yeah. Also, if let's say, yeah, yeah. If let's say I put. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, so this is to make sure you're you're seeing the the actual the bench profile. Ah okay. uh, yes, yes. Okay. And also this is the two D pro. This is the two uh, D image of our of your sample. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. So and also you can uh, adjust the exposure time of the camera. Let's say if you have different uh, uh, sample, for example, this kind of sample that. Um, uh, is a little bit dark than the other sample. Uh, so right now I'm going to change it uh, to another sample. <clears throat> okay. So uh, so I'm going to change this sample, uh, a slightly transparent sample. I will take this out and I will place this uh, here. So um sometimes if you let's say you you don't know how to um find the right position to put your sample. There is another feature uh, in the inter uh, on the interface. So I can go back to the interface. There, there is a preview function. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can click the preview function. Then, um, okay. then you will uh, you are, uh, notice that uh, the fringe pattern is a, uh, yeah. oh, sorry. Oh, uh, so can, this is a, 
yeah. live, live view of the thing. Yeah, live view of this thing. Yeah. Okay. You can place your you can place your uh, place your sample around and see the uh, so the best the best you want. So then once you let's say you choose this uh, choose this area as your measurement area, then you can go back to the interface. Uh, Three D, and you can click measure. And then you will see this three uh, uh, D profile of this sample. So. Uh, yeah. Again, then you can see the uh, profile, and also you can go. Uh, you can measure the uh, points. See, this is a uh, this is X Y Z. Uh, so then you, we can adjust the the jet color map. Uh, yeah. So then you go something like this. Okay. And also, uh, because the sample is a. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a texture. Mm. So we can also observe that there is a the film cyclus, um, mm. film cyclus here. So let's say if you are, you are interested with this profile, you can also uh, uh, right uh, left click and and uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Left click and uh, left click and right click. So then you will see the profile here, and you can. Uh, so this is a profile. Okay. okay. Let's see. Yeah. If you want to uh, delete these uh, measurements, you can. Uh, you can just click delete. Uh, okay. So, uh, in in your just now you showed me the the three profile right with uh, mm -hmm. with the color color uh, color color depth uh, yeah color depth yeah so that one uh, I, I could see like so many uh, those uh, what you call it like points that that really aren't in the sample right those at the edges yeah like, the edges yeah edges some uh, edges have some uh, have some noise. Yeah, this is a cause. Um, if you go back to this uh, uh, 2D uh, view, you will see that there's some very bright area. This is because the edge will reflect a strong uh, bright light back to the camera, which causes this uh, noise. So uh, this one we can reduce the noise by um, you know, by some uh, post processing. So uh, we are we're also going to share you our open source software called uh, Cloud Compare. So you can using that software to do some post processing to um, remove those noise points. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But the main surface is uh, uh, is fine. As you can see, there is a uh, no uh, very big noise on the surface. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seems to be seems to be okay. Uh, so <laughs> I just want uh, want you to take like. I mean, if I'm asking too much, uh, can you help me? So, like the top view of the previous sample, like how would it look like? Ah, oh, okay, no problem. Yes. Okay, so uh, let's go back to this uh, system. Um, okay. This sample. So usually, um. Because this sample have a very special surface, and uh, uh, because that this curve that uh, some area is very reflective, uh, yeah. so we, we are going to try to avoid that very uh, uh, bright area, and also we we also need to cover the some uh, the tips area because the tips area is perpendicular to this uh, surface. So yeah. we also need to uh, make sure that the camera and projector can see this. Uh, uh, tip area at the same time. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, because uh, several ways uh, 
uh, we, we can tilt our system. Like we place the sample here and I 